What's up YouTube? This is your friend the neighborhood movie nerd back to give you guys everything that is going on in the world of movies and TV And now I know that this review is extremely extremely late But I'm really glad that I saw it and that I waited because I missed it when it came out in theaters And it is here. This is my official review for the very small independent crime movie that came out at the end of the summer This is my review for good time Listen, I want you to come with me Now you are gonna love it this place where we are now can be a lot of fun if you let it. You're gonna have a good time. A Good Time is directed by independent film brothers Benny and Josh Safty and stars Robert Pattinson as Constantine Connie Nikas, a lowbrow street hustler who makes the genius decision to bring his mentally handicapped younger brother Nick, played by Benny Safty, one of the film's co-directors, with him to rob a bank. From here, things proceed from bad to even worse when Nick is arrested and jailed in jail in Rikers Island. Now, Connie's forced to use any resource he can to put together $10,000 before the end of the night so he can pay his brother's bail, knowing that he might die if he stays and goes on one crazy ride in the process. I have a problem when it comes to hype concerning movies because in this day and age where most trailers are better than the movies themselves that they're pitching, most hype turns out to be completely unjustified and for the most part it kills whatever joy I might have going into a movie, and usually making a pretty mediocre movie a complete piece of shit in my mind. Which is why I was slightly worried concerning this movie because this movie seemed to be getting universal praise around the board and the trailers were all pretty good, but needless to say I was skeptical. Well I can officially say now that the hype was completely justified because this movie is fantastic. From the opening shot the movie has this crazy frenetic energy that just carries you throughout a breakneck pace. The movie is an hour and 40 and feels like 45 minutes. That's how crazy fast this movie flies by. The cinematography is beautiful. It mixes so many different styles in order to never make it feel dull and once it starts, it never stops. It's almost like that episode of Avatar The Last Airbender in season 2, the one where Aang and his friends spent the entire episode being chased by Azula and her cronies. It never stops and the characters never get a chance to breathe because the moment that they think they've gotten a break, pandemonium occurs again. Let's talk about the performances. Namely, the star of the whole bloody affair, Robert Pattinson. Despite making his bones and easily one of the worst YA franchises to ever grace the silver screen, the dude is a legitimately good actor, and he proves it again here. The dude, who is 100% British, completely convinces you that he is this greasy street urchin and he never once drops the facade. Acting-wise aside though, he also does a really great job of getting you to sympathize with his character, because if you really take a look at this guy, everything that he touches turns to complete shit. Despite trying to do the best that he can, he still gets his brother arrested, ruins two people's lives, and gets a guy killed all in the course of one night, and yet you're still rooting for him to succeed. It's a brilliant character study in addition to being an insane thrill ride, and Pattinson does a fantastic job every step of the way. The supporting cast is all great, with two standout performances in particular. One, of course, being Connie's brother, played by one of the film's directors, Benny Safdie. Despite his limited screen time, Benny, who is 100% normal in real life, probably gives one of the best mentally handicapped performances I've seen since DiCaprio and What's Eating Gilbert Grape. The other performance, though, and arguably, in my opinion, the best performance of the film is from Buddy Duress, who plays a druggie named Ray that Pattinson's character accidentally kidnaps from the hospital thinking he's his brother. The funny thing about his character is the fact that he really was just in the wrong place in the wrong time, but is by no means a good guy, and you still feel bad about everything that happens to him, and Duress does a fantastic job. I think I heard a story about him being a heroin addict in real life and that actually impacting the film of a, the filming of a previous movie that he did with these directors and I'll say that if that's true his real life experience really shows here and only makes his performance better. A non-stop thrill ride in the worst way possible. Good time will have you on the edge of your seat until the credits roll. It's dirty, gritty, and it utilizes the type of filmmaking that you really don't see nowadays. Perfectly short but completely unforgettable. I have no problem saying that while the characters in this movie may be having anything but a good time, good time is usually one of the best films I've seen this year and and quite possibly of this decade, nine and a half out of 10 stars. So that is my review for Good Time. Let me know what you guys thought in the comments below. Follow me on Twitter at Movie Nerd Review. Also head on over to the website, MovieNerdReviews.com. Also be sure to click the like button and the subscribe button. Also leave a comment in the comment section below. That is it. I will see you guys next time. Three, two, one, go!